Okay, this is the second go at the uh, Battle of Alzo. And I'm going to play the Libyans in a, in a little more reserved sort of posture. First, <coughs> first thing I'm going to do is just figure out how far I can actually go through the hills. Oh look, I have to play the game. Okay. So through the hills. So it takes two movement points. So I can actually move a little faster just going straight through the hills. So going through this mountain is just really slow. Okay, so that's my opening move. I'm gonna I'm a little torn between I'm gonna go for this stack. One point four on that. Two. So already I've done three point four against this armoured unit. So these two lead armoured units have taken a taken a hit. Okay, so it's now the Chad's Chadian turn. So I did contemplate bombing this up because they should get higher odds against them. Now for the for the Chadians, I think I'm actually going to leave them there. Try and get my artillery up as far as possible. Unlike before, they weren't hit this time. But at least I know that I can get them there. I think that's that. Now what to hit? 
This is the biggest stack, so let's see whether we can do any damage. This is where, as a Libyan player, I really don't want this to sort of have any early effect. So that's okay. That's one hit against that. I mean, I can maybe live with that as long as this one misses. No. Well, two damage, I can recover from that. So that means that that unit has to not move, but otherwise that I can recover from that entire round. It's going to take a bit of time. So, that's the Chadian turn. Libya. Now this artillery, this, this armour is pretty powerful and it's taken some hits. So I'm going to go for it again. Two more damage. And I'm also going to go for this one here. So this is a very different game, I think, to the um, to the first one. As I've played it once already, and now I've sort of learned a little bit about what I want to achieve. What I really want to do is form a very early defensive line down here. One, two, three, four. So he's not got any depressions. He's not got any depressions, but he does. So this unit... So he's got to stay there, because he wants to recover. Well, that's it for the Libyans. So the Chadian turn. I mean, it has to consider its loss, you know, the threat against its armour. Now, this is obviously the lead unit. So are they in a position to actually make any assaults? Well, let's just see what we can do with the armour, with the artillery. Point four. Oh! That was big. Air power. These are 6.6 .6 and 2.4, that's heavy. This, these point units have taken a real pounding there. Artillery has moved, and these guys I think are going to have to recover. 
So whilst they've got at least something there, I don't think they can attack. Six, seven, eight. Eight against six. Nine. It's going to be a one, one to one or a one to two. Possibly a one to one because of the damage that they've got. Um, so maybe next turn. Okay, well, I think. Look at that. I think it's got to be against that stack. Now, last time I didn't do so well against this stack, but that doesn't mean. Hmm. No, that wasn't so bad, I guess. Two against that, 1.7. I mean, he's going to have to stop if he wants to recover. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to. So it pushes him there. So he should be on one. Well, actually, I want to put him in these mountains for the defense. That gives him no movement left. I could have fired on that otherwise. Now, these have got heavy depressions, but they're in mountains now. Okay. So I've not done any damage against their artillery, which means it's pretty powerful. Ouch. That was a game changer. Ooh. Well they're both they're both basically worthless now. That was definitely a game changer. I think I might have to review the um, effectiveness of artillery and air power because getting those sixes is just it's, it's something you can't do in ordinary battle. I think it's maybe a bit much. Okay, well. effect. 1.6. So again, they're, they're going down the same road as being slowly beaten by the air power. I don't think there's any point in attacking at the moment. You know, this has moved. So we've got a huge amount of stuff there. I'm going to do the same as I did last time. I'm going to stack them up in twos. Well, that's the first 15 minutes up. I'm not sure I'm going to continue this because I think it's going to go the same way. Um, I'm thinking of changing a few things, adding some anti-aircraft and um, 
but I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I was hoping to be able to sort of perform with the um, the bins. Okay, I'll speak to you later. Bye.